military veteran waging his own war against cancer. His weapons are powerful, a bike, fundraising skills, and a team of supporters. August 1st, he will join thousands of riders in this year's Pan Mass Challenge and celebrate a personal milestone. J.D. Dage spends his nights patrolling Worcester in his police cruiser and his days training for his very first PMC. I think there's just going to be more than what I imagined. J.D. served two tours in Iraq, and when he came home, he faced a new battle, cancer. I was first diagnosed with testicular cancer when I was 29 years old. That cancer spread quickly. J.D. has had 10 invasive procedures in just three years. Two brain surgeries, two lung surgeries, two rounds of chemo, two rounds of radiation, and two other surgeries. That also led to a strong bond with his doctor at Dana-Farber, Chris Sweeney. J.D. still remembers Dr. Sweeney's reassuring words from their first meeting. He said, uh, let the healing begin. And the healing started with a stationary bike in his hospital room on day one of his chemo. Who gets fitter after ke on chemotherapy? J.D. The reason why J.D. came out stronger is because he didn't lose a second. I asked about, you know, what I could do to move around. They said they could bring in a bike, so I started, you know, hooked up to the IVs and started pedaling. It felt great. Dr. Sweeney rode his first PMC last year and asked J.D. to ride this year. I figured I'd give it a shot. The cancer cost J.D. sections of both lungs, but he refuses to let that hold him back. I mean, being in Iraq, it was someone always had it worse than you did. There's no reason to be negative about certain things and say, you know, I've had enough. That drive and positive spirit will power him through the 192 miles on his bicycle with his doctor by his side. Doing it this year with JD is a huge honor. JD insists the honor is all his, and all the money his team, Thin Blue Ride, raises will be donated directly to Dr. Sweeney's research. We need a cure. Well, while crossing that finish line in Provincetown is a huge milestone for all riders, it will be extra special for J.D. The weekend of the ride will mark one year that he is cancer-free. And WBZ is proud to be your official PMC station. We hope you'll join us Friday, July 31st for the opening ceremonies of the Pan Mass Challenge live from Sturbridge. That'll be at 7 o'clock, and we'll have live coverage straight through PMC weekend. This year's goal is $45 million, 100% of those fundraising dollars going to Dana-Farber Cancer Institute.